The narcissist is a master of illusion. They will give you the appearance that everything is great, wonderful, uh, but we know everything about the narcissist is an illusion. I mean, every single thing is an illusion. And when you see the narcissist with their new supply, don't believe for a minute that they are happy and everything's wonderful and, you know, there's obviously no love there. There's no, this person is an object to them just like everyone else was. It's just, oh, let me switch to this object. Oh, now this object is broken, so let me get a new object. And it, it's quite frightening that you kind of know what's going to happen to this person, but you can't say anything for your own safety, but you know that this person is going to be destroyed and you have to just sit back and kind of watch. So it puts you, it puts you in a kind of a bad moral situation because you want to help but you know that you really can't nothing you do is going to help because they're not going to believe you anyway so it's just it it does put you in a bad position but you know you really can't do anything about it you have to focus on your own well-being and uh peace of mind and the only reason i keep tabs is for my own safety so that I, if I know the person is going to be at a specific location, so I make sure not to go there. That's the only reason I keep tabs. Um, obviously, you need to know what your enemy is doing so you can stay five steps ahead of them. So it's very important to know what they're doing. I'm not saying to obsess over them and stalk them like a narcissist does, but I'm just saying, obviously for your own safety, you need to know where this person is going to be and so you can minimize, you know, so you don't have to run into them. I'm not dealing with that because, you know, they're going to suck you down to their level. So you, you have to avoid that at all costs. You cannot run into that. I, I want nothing to do with that, and that should be your attitude. But the point is, they are masters of illusion. And even though, see, the sky here has cards, <laughs> the narcissist is not playing with a full deck, you know what I mean? So to speak, excuse the pun, they're not they're not playing with a full deck upstairs, but they're playing with a full deck in terms of different parties in their lives. Well, people, people in their lives, they're using each of these people as pawns on a chessboard and they're moving them around to their benefit, okay? So all of these people are nothing more than pawns in the game, whether they're aware of it yet or not. So the narcissist is going to portray to everyone else that they're this angelic figure with the perfect life. And we all know it's they're in complete turmoil. They're in complete cahoots on the inside. But they are going to portray to everyone else that their life is so great. They don't have any problems. Uh, they just met the love of their life, the new supply. <laughs> Whom they only found to piss off the old supply. And so it's like... It's just all a big game. It's just a complete illusion. And the narcissist is the magician. And everyone else is just toys and props that the magician is going to play with to fool and trick everyone. You know, so 
don't don't be fooled by it don't be fooled by it don't get upset over it they they narcissists understand how to play with people's emotions and so they leverage this to their benefit so they know exactly what to do that's going to sting you the most that's going to stab you in the heart and they're perfectly fine doing doing that because they're a psychopath they they do not care they can they'll they'll meet someone in the next like the the same day they're taking pictures with that person and that's because they're just using that person to get back as somebody else so it's like there's no substance or depth to anything that they do the everyone is just a pawn piece on a board and so once you realize this you 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 wouldn't even get your feel you can't get your feelings too wrapped up into it you can't get your you have to remove your emotions you have to almost become like the psychopath in order to deal with them because they know that they can turn you into an emotional wreck and the fact that they know this is going to make it easier for them if they don't if they realize that you show zero emotion about anything then they're going to stop try trying. They're not going to care anymore because they know they cannot control your emotions. So you have to understand how they operate and then you just have to work around that. Because narcissists have a lot of weaknesses themselves, okay? They have a lot of weaknesses and it's not that hard to actually um you can also leverage those weaknesses against them i'm going to get into that at a later point i'm not saying in per like don't interact with them period in person but i'm saying there are subtle ways to which you can almost like troll the narcissist <laughs> you know what i mean because I mean, they're not in reality, so you already have the upper hand. You already have the advantage, because you're in reality, and they are not in reality. So, I mean, you're dealing with someone who's in delusionville. So, can you really take this person that seriously? Like, are you... Uh, I mean, they're in, in a delusional bubble every day of their lives. So, it that that's quite laughable in itself i mean that there <laughs> there there are ways of which you could troll the narcissist i'm saying from afar i'm not saying to go near a narcissist but i don't i'll get into that another time but the point is that the, these narcissists they, they everything is game to them you know they, they're pl basically playing everyone like a fiddle like they're they're using people as pawns and they're they're just to be played with and pit one person against another and pit this one against that one and triangulate and all to just feed the the insatiable ego of the narcissist you know that this person is an, a monster so uh the main thing is to get them completely out of your life uh you know these these people are not to be played with <laughs>